Hey, Chris, what's going on? Ricardo here with my Amazon guy. Hope you're doing well. I was browsing through some products in your category and I came across your brand, uh, Crut Cheese. Uh, hopefully I'm saying that right. But uh, I was looking at your brand and, you know, congrats on over 6,600 ratings, you know, 4.6 stars out of five. You guys are doing a great job. So definitely, you know, virtual high five, pat yourselves on the back. Um, but one of my jobs here as an account executive, uh, Chris, is I'm, I'm looking I'm looking to to find opportunities for growth for sellers who prioritize on Amazon. And I actually found some opportunities within your own listing. And so I just wanted to make this little video to show you. OK, it's not going to take a long time. I'm just going to get right to it for you. OK, hopefully it's helpful. So if we go over here, we can take a look at your keyword distribution and we can see that you have 28 sponsored keywords and 800 organic keywords. Now. You're definitely under spending on PPC right now, and you know PPC is one of the uh, one of the fastest ways that you can grow your sales within Amazon. Excuse me. So we normally like to see a one to two ratio. So for every sponsored keyword that you have, you want to have two organic keywords. Okay, this is because SEO and PPC they work in tandem; they work together. So you definitely want to have the 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 right ratio. Now, just to illustrate that point for you, I sorted by the highest search volume here. As you can see, some of these keywords, you're ranking number eight for crutches for adults. That's really good. Crutches, you're not 22. Ice machine for knee, for knee after surgery, you're ranking for that. It's 269. Um, hand grips, 272. Uh, forearm crutches, 282. So there's a there's a whole mix of things here. Now, I know for a fact that obviously you're, you're under spending on PPC. This is why you have no sponsor ranks as of right now. But just look at this keyword, for instance, you know, forearm crutches, right? You're ranking 282. That's very relevant. And that keyword has a, a search volume of 5,000 visitors a month. And the revenue within the next 30 days is projected to be 986,000, right? That's what they're forecasting. So you can imagine, you know, number 282 uh, for that keyword, that means you're not being seen at all, okay? Because, you know, people are not going to scroll through 282 um you know, different crutches and, and crutch pads to, to be able to find one, right? It's a very commoditized product. So, um, yeah, if, if you are ranking within the top 10, just imagine, you know, how much a bigger piece of this pie you could be getting, right? And just to put that into perspective, I actually looked up one of your competitors here, and I, I'm not looking to do any product comparisons. That's not what I'm looking to do. I want to show you their SEO and PPC strategy. So as you can see, they have 1,400 sponsored keywords, 1,600 organic keywords. But look at the rankings, right? Number one, all across the board. Number one, number one, number one, number one. Number two, we're, we're, we start ranking number two, like right at the bottom of the page. So the reason why they're selling that, that what they're selling is because, uh, one, they're focusing on their SEO and they're focusing on their PPC. They don't have the ideal ratio, mind you, right? They don't have the ideal ratio, but they're very they're being very strategic about it. OK, so um, definitely some food for thought. You know, SEO and PPC are incredibly, incredibly important. They're everything on Amazon. So you definitely, definitely need to consider uh, spending more on advertising um, if you want to stay afloat. Now, just uh, I just want to show you something here. I was looking at your images. I love your images. Uh, what I would like to see more of, though, is actual people using the product. You know, I know you have a video. You show, you know, you show some of the product aspects. I would love to see more actual lifestyle images of people actually using the product. Like I know we have this model here, and that's great. Um, but you know, just maybe just an image of someone at their home, or you know, getting out of the hospital, or, or you know, just going inside a place, you know, wearing the crutch pads. I think that would be, you know, that would be a, a good addition, and that would increase your conversion rate. Um, also, taking a look at your listing. Uh, great job on your listing. You looks like you have a lot of relevant keywords and listing text is at 188. You can have up to 200 characters, so you, you still have some room there. Um, great job on setting up your store. That's amazing. And uh, you don't have any bullet points. You're missing out on the bullet points. Um, let me show you something. If we go back to your competitor, all of these all of the, all of these words right here this is all seo value that you're not taking advantage of right now okay you can have up to five different uh bullet points 250 characters for each and right now you have none so you're all of that all of that seo juice all of those keywords you're, you're missing out on okay 
And when we scroll down, I love the fact that you have a from the brand module. You know, you got a you got a story, you got a beautiful image here. So um the the thing with with it, with uh with the the from the brand module that you're not doing is you're not cross-selling and you're not increasing your average order value. So you have a from the brand module and that's amazing, but you're not taking full advantage of it. I'll show you how you can do it right now in a second. So looking at your A plus content, let me take a look at your alt text here. Uh, crotch pads, yeah, you can have up to 100 characters of alt text on every single image. And right now you're not taking advantage of that. See, you're doing some here, but you're not taking full advantage of it 100%. See, you're doing some of it here as well. So you definitely want to uh, focus on the alt text. I like the fact that you have some uh, words here because we, we recommend anywhere between 500 to 1,000 words on your A plus content, okay? So that's normally what we recommend. And I'm going to show you something. This is Stephen Pope's listing. He is the founder of our company. And I know this is not related to your product. I just want to show you what a well-optimized listing looks like. So as you can see, fully optimized title, fully optimized bullet points, right? He added some emojis just to add some personality. And then when you scroll down, this is what I wanted to show you. So this is the from the brand section. I would highly encourage you to put some type of banner image like he did here, because that, in, that adds more personality uh, something that's related to the brand, right? And so he put the, the brand story here. And as you can see, these products right here, he's cross-selling these products and he's increasing his average order value, okay? So as you can see, and then at the bottom, if you actually, let's take a look at the A-plus content. So A-plus content, you got the text, A-plus content, text, A-plus content, text, right? And then at the bottom, he has a product comparison chart, right? So this is called the product grid. So what this allows you to do, it allows you to showcase different products, you know, promote different things that you want to sell and also increasing, uh, increase your average order value like you did up there. So Chris, um, hopefully this was not too overwhelming. Hopefully this is helpful for you. Um, I definitely see a lot of holes and gaps, um, you know, within your listing and I definitely see the growth potential for it. It's a great product. It's a great brand, but it, there's definitely some improvements needed to be made. So. Here at my Amazon guy, we work with over 250 brands, you know, over $300 million in revenue. And so, you know, we've been doing this for a while. We know exactly what we're doing. And like I said, I definitely see potential for, for your listing, for your brand as a whole uh, to be more successful. I don't see why it should stay at 6,000 ratings. Uh, why not 15? Why not 20,000? Why not 100,000, right? So if you're interested um, in, in, you know, booking a call with me, I'd love to have a chat with you. Uh, sit down, maybe take a look at a different listing. Let's discuss, you know, different growth strategies and tips and and, and ways that, that that we can help you, you know, get to the to the top of Amazon like you deserve. So, um, if you're interested, feel free to the, to click the the book a call button at the bottom of the email. And I look forward to speaking with you soon. Okay, thanks so much, Chris. Take care. Bye bye.